Hounded is the first novel by Kevin Hearn and the beginning of the Iron Druid Chronicles, published by Del Rey. It was originally going to be a webcomic, but it got upgraded to being uh, published as a book instead, and I'm not knocking webcomics. I've been running one for myself for the past four years. The book is about the last known druid who takes shit from no one, because that's how 2,000-year-old magic Irish people tend to be. This book is set in Tempe, Arizona, and has many real locations you can actually visit, including a pub called Rulabula, which if you haven't been there, you might as well do it now because, seriously, it's great. It's fantastic. I love that place. Your taste buds will thank you. Most of it revolves around the mostly naked Celtic gods and goddesses of the Tuahe de Danan. If I got that one right, then hooray, and my many Irish friends will not be picking on me. But if I did get that wrong, then it's open season in the comments. We meet the title and main protagonist of the series, Atticus O'Sullivan, a.k.a. Shiohan O'Sullivan. Uh, or... Yeah, something like that. I don't know, I can't win them all. Anyways, aka the Iron Druid. We find out that he has a thing for knickknacks because he owns Third Eye Books and Herbs, which is not a front for selling weed. Well, at least I don't remember that part. Atticus is soon attacked by some fairies. Not the itty bitty, sprinkle farting kind. I'm talking about the vicious kind who want to punch you in the nuts. Fairies have used what's called a glamour to disguise themselves as runners, so regular mortals cannot see their true form and proceed towards Atticus for said nut punching, and are easily dispatched. Upon their death, the Morgan, a super hot naked goddess who can turn into a crow, appears to tell him that shit is about to get real, because one of those knickknacks that he has is a sword called Fragara, the Answerer, that originally belonged to Celtic god known as Angus Og, and he wants it back and knows where Atticus is now. This ultimately leads to crazy shenanigans where a showdown happens between the two characters and it's pretty epic. Along the way, we meet a cute redhead, who we'll be talking about in a later episode, his lawyers, who are a werewolf and a vampire, a bunch more Celtic gods and goddesses that I can't pronounce, an old widow he gets drunk with, witches, riches, and snitches, and my favorite book dog ever, Oberon. The ending is really fun, and there are some amazing action parts in this book. And for the first book published by this author, I was heavily impressed. Overall, the story is compelling and definitely worth a read or listen, as I did both. Luke Daniels is an amazing reader, so do yourself a favor and try the audio version. I like the cover art and attention of all the gods and goddesses in the Celtic lore, and everywhere else so far. If you want to start a new series and are open to urban fantasy, then I would highly advise picking this book up. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, suggest, and share. Thanks. Bye!